hi guys welcome back to my channel um i'm just gonna get straight into it today's video is gonna be a part two of the jeffree star cosmetics palette i want to get in there and do some colors that aren't purple because there is a lot in here that's not purple and it's not gonna be pink either i'm gonna try to do something different hopefully hopefully it'll turn out i don't know if these colors really go together but <laughs> we'll see I'm just going to get into it. I've already primed my lids with my e.l.f. primer. Um, the one I've been using, the putty primer. And I've still been loving, loving it. I think I'm going to go in first with um, this shade, Monarchy. It's like a taupey brown. A cool tone brown. It's a pretty good shade. It's a great transition shade for your crease. I thought I would just do... A different look today I did it all purple the last time in my last video so I thought I would do something not using the purple looks and seeing if I can come up with something like that because some of these shades I'm just not sure if they go with purple so I thought why not try and do a shade just try and do a look that's not purple I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because there's two, like, shimmers in here that are two different colors. One's, like, a greenish, maybe, like, a greenish gold color. You have this shimmer that's, like, a greenish gold color, and you have this one, which it looks like a, it's not as shimmery as this one. So, it looks like it might be more, like, a subtle shimmer or maybe a satin shade. And then I want to use this look, too, but... I think I'm going to put that one like in my outer crease to blend it in. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Might try to take this red shade and go in my crease with it. Just a tad bit. This look might not turn out. <laughs> but let's try and see. Just do a little bit. Oh no, I bet this is going to turn into a peak look. Doing that, it's probably going to turn into a pink look. Which, that might not be a bad thing. clean my brush off here real quick and I'm gonna go back into the taupey shade just to blend it a top where I put the red shade because it kind of went away when I did the red you can't see it anymore and just do a light blending with that up top to bring just a little bit of that cool tone brown back into my look I'm going to switch to my other brush, the one that I use to, it's like a, a flatter, fluffier brush. I use always use that to do my outer corner. I'm going into the shade Vile Serpent, which is one of the shades they said that when you blended it out, it went away. It's this shade right here. It's like a teal. I love that shade. I've wanted to use a shade like it on my eye. This is, it might be one of the one of the craziest looks I've done on my channel yet. Not just in my channel, in real life too. <laughs>
Look at you. So much more. My eyes are watering so much today. So she's left out here. Having so much issues like that. I'm gonna go in with my blending brush again and just take just a tad bit of the red and blend it back over my crease just to get a little bit more red going on here. Back. Just doing one little tap in there and just running it over my crease. have a feeling this blue shade's probably going to stain my eyelids. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with my, um, my Tarte brush that I always use for shimmer shades. <laughs> this is a mermaid one. I'm going to go in with this last shade here called... Sworn enemy. <laughs> Go into that chain, put it all over my lid. To be honest, I don't know if that blue looks very blue right now. It kind of looks like I have pink or purple on my eye. I don't know what happened there. Let's see. Let's go back with a little bit more. Let's see if I can turn these shades. Let's take my, my blending brush and do a little bit of blending just to meld these shades together. On this side too. Okay. I'll take my little shader brush that I have here, a small shader brush. And I think I'm gonna run the the red under my eye, mixed between the, the taupey shade. And then I'm going to go in with just some of the Vile Serpent on the outer corner. Just to connect to what I have going on on the outer corner of my upper eyelid. Done with my look. Oh no, want to do a, gonna do an inner corner highlight. Mm. I think I'm gonna do a different one and do the pink shade. There's a pink shimmer in here. This pink shimmer called Wet Jewel. I think I'm gonna do that on my inner corner. 
They don't really have, unless I do this one in me, they really don't have an inner corner highlight that I could use. I'm going to try this one. looks different. I don't know how I feel about the pink with that, but we're going to go with it for today. It definitely brightens up my my inner corner. Brings some brightness in. It's just the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners and Punch. I think that'll look the best with the look we got going on here. You can see that. It really shines out. Kind of looks good. I don't know about with the pink, but with the rest of the look, it looks pretty good. Okay. I think I'm going to put some lashes on, too. I've been really getting into um, eyelashes lately. I've been loving them on me. They look pretty good. Oh. Let me do my liner first before I get into my eyelashes. So I don't want the, the glue to dry before before I can stick them on. I'm going to put spray my face with some setting spray, just the Morphe Jeffree Star setting spray. Get my lashes, put some of the Kiss strip adhesive, lash adhesive on them. that dries I'm going to do just a quick coat with my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara just on my upper lash and some of my lower lashes when you don't like using lashes this is a really good mascara it really builds the thickness and the length of your lashes super fast so you don't have to do like a bajillion coats to get super long, thick lashes from it. And it doesn't, when it's a fresh tube, it doesn't clump too easy, which I love. I hate a clumpy mascara. This one is starting to clump up some because I've had it for 
few months now. Definitely more than six months I've had this tube. So. So I lashed it. Only my left eye first. I always do my left eye first for some reason. I think it's just because I have a harder time with my left eye. A harder time getting my left eye more on my hand itself. Stick on my left eye is more difficult than stick on my right eye one for some reason. On the other one. And you want to stick when you go to do lashes, you want to stick them as close to the lash line as possible. That way, you can't tell that you're wearing falsies. Because let's be honest, we all know we don't have lashes that look like this. There we have it. Hey, this is my look today. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna go in and um, with a lipstick, try to figure out which one I should do. Maybe this one, my Too Faced Gingerbread one. It's like a red color. It's like a grungy red. I think I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm not gonna do a lip liner today. I'm just gonna go in with the lipstick. I don't think it looks bad today. Then I would do a different look than what I normally do. I normally do a nude lip. So I'll do this one. This is my look. I think it turned out really good. I don't think I did bad using different eyeshadows I normally would have. Then we have my look. I'm going to do a quick... Montage. That's my look. If you liked it and you like what I did today, give me a big thumbs up. And maybe leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of those shades mixed together. Because I think it's all very different shades. So like a turquoise or red a brown like cool tone brown and then this like green gold shade that I put on my inner corner 
And I'm surprised it turned out as good as it did. I didn't think it was going to turn out to look this good. <laughs> but it turned out pretty good. Um, and um, if you haven't yet and you like the content I've been given, you can click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring the bell for all my future uploads. That way you can see my future videos. It will notify you whenever I post. And I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.